channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial that I have attempted to film on three separate occasions. That is why this video has taken so long to come up. I've already completely fallen off track with my whole videos every Monday and every Thursday spiel that I had a couple of videos back, but I'm going to try to get back to our regularly scheduled programming. I have a lot of eye allergies and when my eye allergies act up, I cannot wear makeup at all and that has been the case lately. So yeah, I'm really sorry this video took so long to put up. So I wanted to do this look inspired by Jennifer Lopez at the Golden Globe Awards a few weeks ago and like I said, I've tried to film this so many times. So at this point, I'm sure the tutorial has been done completely to death, but I wanted to put my own little spin on it. So this look is very much so an inspired look. I don't think at the end of the day it came out looking anything like what I was expecting it to or anything really like what Jennifer Lopez did, but it's just very loosely inspired by the color combination and the lower lash line. When I saw how dark her lower lash line was, I knew it was right up my alley because if you guys have been watching my videos for any length of time, you know this is kind of my MO. That rhymed. I'm not normally a person who is influenced by what celebrities are doing. I know that sounds really self-righteous and uppity, but I really just don't watch red carpets. I don't watch award shows. I don't watch E! News. I don't watch MTV. I literally just Google what everyone wore the night after an award show, see if there's anything out there that I could be inspired by, and I love this look. So anyway, I hope, oh, just said anyway like a normal person. You guys excited? Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please thumbs up if you do enjoy the video, and subscribe if you have not. We are almost at 20,000 subscribers, and I'm so excited. I heart you guys crazy mad. And check the description box below this video to information about this videos, makeup products. Wow, I had like a total brain fart. Check the description bar below this video to get information about all the products that I mention and that I use, as well as links to all my social media platforms. I love you guys more than you ever know. Bye! Okay guys, today we are starting off with already primed eyes. Today I use MAC's Pro Longwear Concealer as my primer, and then I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek's Cupcake mixed with Anastasia Beverly Hills Birkin. I'm gonna take this as usual on a fluffy, I think this is an E40 brush from Sigma, if I know myself well at all, it probably is. And I'm just gonna work this from inner corner to outer corner. In this particular case, I am concentrating most of the saturation of color on the outer corner of my eye because we are dealing with so many cool tones and we are dealing with so many dark colors. I don't want to bring too much depth all over the surface of my eyelid because it's not very flattering on me. Now I'm taking the Stila palette and I'm going in with this like dark purple eggplant shade on a, I don't remember what this is. It's a Sigma version of a 217 brush. And I'm just packing this on the outer corner of the eye, slowly moving up in the crease a little bit. You can take this in as far as you want. In fact, Jennifer Lopez had a lot of depth on the inner corner of her eye, but that just isn't flattering on me and it would make this not look good. So this is why I always say things are inspired because I just take inspiration from the color combination. I don't necessarily interpret them on myself the same way because it's not going to be flattering. Therefore, this makeup would look like but Anyway, <laughs> we're adding color and we're blending. Now I'm going in with this like kind of brownie taupe gray color from the same Sigma palette and I'm putting that all over the mobile lid. I think this is with a 242 brush from MAC. You can see the concealer on my eyebrows. I know that drives you guys crazy, but it's there because I do my eyebrows first and I put concealer there so that when I do my foundation, I don't get foundation all over my eyebrows. I know that sounds weird. You don't have to do it, but I do. Anyway, just putting a little bit more of that purple on the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of black from the same palette. And I'm just poking that in the very, very outer corner of the eye. Jennifer Lopez's look was smoky, but the top of the eye, as in the lid, was much lighter than the bottom. Now I'm going in with this black, wow, that just came out like word vomit. I'm going in with this black liner from Marc Jacobs. It's just a really creamy cold pencil, and I'm smudging it along the lash line. 
And then I'm going to take a push liner brush with some black eyeshadow on it. And I'm just going to softly smudge that a little bit. We don't want to take this too high. And I don't want to take it too far into the corner of my eye. Because it's going to create too much depth in that inner corner. Which, like I said, isn't very flattering on me. And I accidentally cut it out. But I did put a little bit of liquid liner on the inner corner. Just to help blend my eyelashes into my natural lash line. Then I just highlighted the brow bone. I think I used a matte vanilla shade from the same Sigma palette. Um, you could do shimmer. I almost did, honestly. I thought it would be pretty cool, but I chickened out at the last minute. Now I'm just doing all the fun stuff and a nice little Stanley Kubrick looking shot for my tight lining. All the fun stuff that I always do before I put on false lashes, which is curl the lashes, tight line, and I apply mascara. Any mascara will do because they're really just going to be serving the purpose of blending into our false lashes once they're dark from the mascara. Wow, that probably made no sense. Off camera, I went ahead and did my foundation and I'm taking this MAC Prep and Prime Concealer in Radiant Rose and my studio, excuse me, Pro Longwear. And I've started to mix them together on the back of my hand like this. And then I press them on with my finger and then I blend them out with my beauty blender. I used to lay down a layer of the Pro Longwear Concealer and then a layer of the Radiant Rose and then blend in between. But this way I use a lot less product. It's a lot faster. It's easier to blend. I think it looks better. It's just my new preferred method of concealing and highlighting is just to blend them together. I don't see a point in applying them in layers anymore. It just doesn't make sense. Now I'm going in with the Stroke of Light Highlighting Concealer back in with that Pro Longwear Concealer again, mixing it together on the back of my hand. And then I will apply that with the Beauty Blender on the center of my nose, on the center of my forehead, my Cupid's bow, and my chin. Those are always the areas that I highlight. I'm definitely gonna highlight this time because the colors we're working with are usually colors I stay really far away from. I hate purple and gray and black, but it works. I just wanna keep highlights and lightness to the face. <laughs> then I'm just gonna go in and mix this Anastasia vanilla and banana powder, banana, I said that so weird, banana powder on my brush and I'm just going to set the areas that I highlighted. I have to set these areas of my face because my under eye area creases if I don't. I just have oily skin everywhere else on my face so I have to set it with powder but you do what you have to do. Now I'm going to smoke out the bottom lash line. This is really no different than what I typically do. I just want a little bit darker than normal. So I start off with the lightest shade, which would be that kind of cupcake um, Birkin mixture. Then I'm going to go in with that gray color a little bit closer to the lash line. The brushes are getting smaller the closer I'm getting to the lash line and the darker the color. And then I'm going to go in with that purple shade on a small smudgy brush from Sigma. This is from their Perfect Blend Kit. Wow, I am a Stutter and Stanley today. I haven't filmed a tutorial in forever. I'm really taking this all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner of my eye. I want this to be really dark. The line can be as thick as you want it to be. It, go, it can go down as far as you want it to go down. But I'm still going to blend it out so that it fades into my skin tone the way that I normally do. You could make this look really fun and messy and um, really high fashion if you wanted to, but I just wanted to do something a little bit more wearable. So I am going to blend that out and I'm also going to connect that dark color and this cupcake Birkin mixture. Ooh, a Birkin cupcake. That sounds amazing. I'm going to mix them together around my eye. I'm definitely taking this all the way around the surface of my eye. Then I took a little angle brush and even closer to the lash line, I'm going in with black just to intensify it even further. Then I put on loads of black eyeliner. I went in and dipping that up a couple of times. Let me tell you what. Then I just smudged a little bit more black and purple under the lash line to give it more pop. Now I'm going in with these under lash lashes, bottom lash lashes. I've had these for a really long time and I just never knew what look to pair them with, but I've been really into making the lower lash line super intense. So these just gave it even more of a push in that direction. You definitely don't have to do this. Mascara would be just fine, but I have them, so I wanted to play with them. Now I'm going to bronze. It would not be a Jennifer Lopez look if we didn't bronze. Today I am using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. There's nothing new here. Oh my gosh, I have to hiccup. It happens every time I film a voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing new here. I am just bronzing the backs of my cheeks, uh, my forehead, and then I'll go in with a separate shade to contour the very hollows of my cheeks. I didn't want to do like a pink blush or anything like that, so I use 
um, Wild Honey from Becca because it was kind of like a bronzy, neutral, warm color that I thought would balance out all the cool tones we have on the eyes. And JLo is very much about that bronze glow life. So that's kind of when I, why I went in that direction. Then I'm taking this Cover FX highlighter and I'm going to apply it on the very tops of my cheekbones with a 224 brush for MAC, I think. <laughs> and I'm just strategically placing that. I don't like to go too slap happy with highlighter. I've said so before. Then I'm going to line the old Liparooskies with Stripped Down Lip Pencil from MAC. It's a really dark lip liner for me, but her lips were super nude. And if I don't go in there and make the lip liner a little bit on the deeper side, it just looks like it's blending into my skin tone and ugh, I'm so over that look. So yeah, just going in with a deeper lip pencil than our actual lip color we're gonna end up going in with. And um, taking my sweet time apparently <laughs> in the process. Then I'm going in with Flesh Pot Lipstick from MAC. This is a, like the nudest lipstick I've probably ever worn in my life. Like, look at that. It looks like I'm putting concealer on my lips. It's not normally my cup of tea, but anytime I do anything along these lines by way of nude lips, I go in with a lip brush and I blend my lipstick and my lip liner together. I don't want it to be a super harsh separation between the two. I just need the lip liner to create definition. Then I'm going to go in with this Pro Longwear Lip Glass in Patience or this infinitely like a I don't remember I'll leave it down below um I shouldn't have done this because the cool tones and the pink it's very 80s I'm not super into it I wish I would have gone with something more beige but it works do what you want blend it together and you're done love you guys mean it talk to you soon bye <laughs>